I'm Sean Oliver from WebDrill and I'm an offsider. I didn't have a lot of uh, idea of what the industry was like to be honest with you to start with. Um, I learned a lot more as soon as I got on site. I didn't actually apply for WebDrill through the main normal channels. Um, I actually got a call from someone, I put a post on Facebook about trying to get up away in the mines. Um, so my process was a bit different. I emailed my exit resume through to the supervisor and then um, went for my interview and medical and all that. It was up within a week, but um, most of the time obviously you're applying. I had applied for other jobs before that on the internet and um, seek and all that sort of stuff, emailing things away. Uh, leaving home to the site, you're probably getting up early in the morning to get a plane for, say, 5.30, 6 o'clock, depending on where you are. Um, so depending on where you live, you're up even earlier than that. Uh, you know, packing your bag and all that probably the night before, getting everything ready, trying to get a good night's sleep, because as soon as you hit the ground, you're, you're at work. So that first day is going to be a very long day. Um, but yeah, you're, it's, you know, you've got a long commute to the airport, or you're, even if you're close, you've got, you're at the airport. And then depending on what site you're on, it could be a five minute drive down the road. Uh, it could be an hour and a half minute down the road. You know, it could be a long drive ahead of you as well. It's a long day, that first day, but that's pretty much what, what will happen every, every time you fly out. I'm pretty lucky, my partner's pretty good with me working away. Uh, she's very supportive and family's very good as well. A lot of support behind us. Um, so initially it was pretty hard, but you know, especially with a young family and stuff like that, but we've kind of got used to the fact that that's what it is now. We're, we're doing it for a reason, and um, we, you know, we have our moments where we, it gets a bit tough. It gets pretty hard sometimes, but support, support with your family. If, if you're all on board with it and you're there for a reason, it, it gets pretty easy. Your best bet is as soon as you're out that door, flick your mindset to work because that's where you're at. Um, so you're, you're obviously a little donger. Um, you know, sometimes you're lucky enough to have a TV with reception and a nice comfy bed and uh, it's clean, but um, other places aren't as great. I never really knew what to expect. Oh yeah, you're, you're up early, um, you know, quite early in the morning, sometimes it's pitch black, you can't see much. You'll get your breakfast from the mess, depending on where you are. Um, some sites might actually cook you up something if it's a really small place, um, but most of the time you'll have it in the mess, then you'll be able to get your lunches and that done up, made up, make whatever you want, take it with you. Um, yeah, it's normally pretty good food and that sort of stuff, so you can set your day nicely. Definitely offsiding. You want your energy. So it can get pretty hard out there. You're not going to be eating cereal and fruit and all that throughout the day. If you you need to sustain some energy, so you need a good brekkie, definitely. You'll uh, basically once you leave your room, you're sort of ready to go to work. So you will pack your lunch in the crib room, have brekkie, um, and then straight away you you're in work mode. You'll leave to go to site. First thing would be your cross shift, if your cross shift's there, if you're other offsider. So you'd have a chat with him about how the day went, any materials and things they need down there, consumables.
probably try and do your inspection on the ute, get that done so your ute's ready to go underground. Um, that would be your main priority and just talk to your cross shift about you know, any problems or anything that's going on. Um, apart from that, that would be the first thing. I'm kind of used to it now, but it can be a bit sort of daunting the first time. Um, you don't know what to expect, but you know, there's sometimes there's a lot of traffic in that coming out as well, so it can be dusty, um, wet, slippery, um, you know, depending on where you are. It could be quite a small portal as well, so you could be, in, you know, in a quite small feeling sort of space. Other ones are quite big, so it feels a bit more open, but um, very dark, very wet, and Yes, I'm used to it now. Yeah, some people have sort of gone in there going, nah, stuff that, I'm not doing it. it. It is quite dark. As soon as you get in there, you gotta adjust your eyes. And like I've heard people obviously being absolutely fine with it, and then other people freaking out going, nah, I'm not doing it, and back on the plane going. So. So specific roles, you will be in charge of cleaning core, uh, pulling out your tubes, um, making sure your running gear is ready to go. So your job is to basically be there for the driller to make sure he can, he can drill meters as well as possible. So making sure everything's running smoothly. Making sure you've got everything you need down there for the day because you don't want to be coming up and getting extra stuff because that'll slow things down. You want to be able to get there and get the job done, get it done safely, but also efficiently. Uh, so you want to make sure you've got everything you need for the day. Um, your water, water bottles, you probably fill up your drill's water bottle. You'll make sure you are maintaining all of the gear, so all your back ends and stuff. You'll learn all this sort of when you get there, but uh, making sure the rig's clean as well. That's a big one. What's the lunch break? Um, you are able to have lunch, but you'll find that you will try and eat when you can. So if you are pumping out the meters, you're not gonna be stopping and having a break. You'll be working flat out. Um, so whenever something does slow down or you know you, you get a run that's quite slow, you try and grab a bite to eat, grab a drink. Um, your driller will probably look after you a bit as well, making sure you, you, know, you keep eating and drinking when you can. He'll let you know when the sort of a break's coming up most of the time so you can eat and drink. Um, but it's sometimes pretty hard to get a bite in. So you want to take something that's not, you know, there's no microwave meals and stuff down there. It's, you know, sandwiches, rolls, things like that, nice and quick that you can grab and eat. Um, sometimes there's toilets nearby, underground. Other times, um, not so much. And you're not going to be able to drive underground to go to the toilet back up to the surface. So you will be shooting into a green bag. Or if you're lucky enough to have a next, uh, an old bucket that you've got for the months and stuff, you'll make a makeshift toilet and you'll be shooting underground and then wiping it all off with a handful of rags. Salty water is a bad one. You can uh, obviously get salt everywhere and by the time it dries off it starts scratching against your skin and stuff. That can get pretty uncomfortable. Um, you can get, you know, come up with sores and scratches and all that sort of stuff. Your skin doesn't really like any of that. Um, other places you could be hitting water so you've, you know, you're going to get covered in water all day every day. Uh, you could be working in mud, uh, in you know, slop, you, know, you could be underwater, your feet could be underwater all day. You're working in wet boots straight away um, and some places are just boiling hot you know, and you drink 10 litres of water a day so it can get pretty tough um, but you know, you've got to, got to make sure that you can stick through it, get through it. Anyone that can't sort of stick it out and think they, they're used to doing that, then there's no point really going for the job. The hardest part would probably be the longer hours and when you are on your feet all day, every day, doing a lot of metres. That gets pretty tough, especially if you're not looking after yourself. 
with food and water and you know eating right and drinking right. Um, another tough one is family. So if you don't have that sort of good relationship or you don't have things going well at home, it can get pretty tough. But it's, it's a very hard, exhausting job at times, so that's probably the worst part of it. That would be the hardest part for me. But yeah, depending on your conditions, I mean, you could be having a slow day, it might take, you know, seem like a really long day. If you're working flat out, it can go pretty quick, but it's very exhausting. You know, anyone doing 12 hours a day, sweating all day and wet and, you know, cold or whatever, can get pretty tough. Um, you will climatise to it as well, you'll get, you'll get used to it, but it, it can get pretty hard sometimes. I suppose it, it takes you a while to get used to the fact that you're, you're lifting weights every day, all day, and you're using muscles you did probably ever think you would use, especially on some of the angles you're on. Um, and just because of the amount of things that you're sort of taking in and the information you're taking and on how to do your job better, it can get a bit stressful and sort of mentally frustrating at times. Um, eventually you do get there and you'll, you know, you'll pick it all up, but it, it can get pretty tough. Definitely, definitely a hard job. Probably one of the hardest jobs going, I would say. Um, a lot of people said to me at the start, you know, it's a young person's job or it's one of the toughest jobs going. I haven't seen any job that's actually worse than it, I don't think. You know, if you've got the grit and the determination to stick through it, then it's pretty rewarding too. Like it's, you know, you can have a really shit day and have one of the worst days ever to get out of it, go to work the next day, you think, well, ah, can't be as bad as that day. So, you know, it's, it is a tough job, don't get me wrong, but I like it. So, I personally try and like to get as much sleep as possible, because you don't know if your next day is gonna be a really long one that comes with the job, really. Um, you have to push through it no matter what. Um, I suppose on a big day, you may lose a bit of motivation, but you've also got to remember that, you know, if you're there for the boys, you're a crew, so you're a team. So you've got to push through. Um, the team will pretty much, they'll push you through anyway. You know, they'll, they'll make sure that you're ready to go most of the time. But um, it can get pretty tough. And uh, I'll probably be you know, by the time you get out of the hole, it could be 6, 6.30. Sometimes you're not back to camp till 7, 7.30. So you're straight to the mess for dinner. Sometimes I'm calling the missus and the kid quickly and then I'm going to bed. Like, depending if you have to shower back at your dormant as well. Um, so I'll go to bed pretty early because you're up again pretty early as well. Um, so yeah, I try and get some rest. To be honest with you, I thought the pay would be a bit more when I started off, but um, you have to look at it as what you're saving while you're away, what you're not spending, and what you can earn as you progress. Um, it is a tough job, but like the, the benefits are there in the long run. So, I mean, it wasn't quite what I expected, but at the same time, what I wasn't spending while I was at home and what I was saving on, was it makes a big, a big difference. Um, and then you gotta look at the, long, like the big picture, like, you know, within a year or two, you could be on a rig earning some killer money. So that's that's what you have to look at. If you, I think if you've got a goal towards that, that, that makes it easier. Stick it out. Uh, definitely think about if it's a job for you. If, if you're not willing to put in the long hours and bust your ass, then I wouldn't bother. You will get, you know, you're gonna have shitty days. You're gonna be wet, you're gonna be cold, you're gonna be hot, you're gonna be sweaty, you're gonna be stinky covered in shit. Um, if you're not willing to do that day in, day out, then it's not a job for you. But if you think you've got what it takes, then like give it a go and stick at it. Like you'll have days where you want to quit, but don't. Keep going, keep learning, and it does get easier. Um, but make sure you, you know, it is something for you to do. It's like once you're here, you gotta do it. And uh, definitely really think about it if, it's, if it is a job for you.